welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Raz. Thank you very much for subscribing and managing to get me over the 1,000 subscriber mark. It's an amazing achievement, something that I didn't think would happen until the end of the season. And to get it a month before the season even started is amazing. And I'm, I'm going to make a special little video to thank everybody because there's been some people who've been subscribed since I had six subscribers, which is amazing. So thank you very much for that. Uh, I wanted to start off with though, a little bit of disappointing news. Um, but one that I'm not too concerned about is that it looks as if Wolves are set to miss out on centre-back Willy Bolly. Uh, it's been reported in the Portuguese media today that he's not interested at all in coming to the Wolves. Um, but it said that the exit door remains open for him. So perhaps something could go through there, but it's been reported that neither his agent or him has got any interest at all in coming to the second division in Wolves in England. Sorry, so that doesn't look like it's going to go through. But the Sports Mole website, which I don't know how much you can read into this, but it says that Benicophobia is tipped to become to, for a return to Wolves. Now he is somebody I think over the last couple of days the rumours have got stronger. We've moved into the pole position for that sign-in. And it's between us and West Bromwich Albion. So it's a decision for him whether he wants to upset the Wolves fans even more by going to the West Brom, West Brom. Or does he want to come back and, as I said yesterday, become part of this revolution at Wolverhampton Wanderers. And hopefully he will. I think he's somebody who has got good potential and really did, when he tried hard, was a great striker for us. And has proved that he's got the potential to go and play in the Premier League as well. But he's... Just not quite ready to be that star man for Bournemouth at the moment. Now, reading about um, Ruben Neves over the last couple of days. Now, I will be the first to admit I'd never heard of him before about half past ten on Friday night. But now he's the best player that we've ever going to have. Reading about him, the Porto president, George Nuno Pinto da Costa, uh, apparently a couple of years ago was absolutely adamant that Neves would never, ever leave Porto. He said that we would like to keep him at FC Porto as a kind of João Pinto. That is, he was a symbol of and a legend of the progress of the club for several generations, and I never want him to leave Porto. Now, that either suggests that he's done something over the last couple of years to really upset the president, or the president's changed his mind, or there's a new player, perhaps, that is better than Neves, or it suggests that we've been able to prize away this absolute beast of a player and make him join our club and that deal has been very very quiet today in terms of that but it does look as though that's going to go through rumours are suggesting that he's going to be in Wolverhampton today for a medical and to iron out contract details and stuff like that but it'll be typical of my luck over the last couple of days to upload a video and then for something to happen as soon as this is uploaded so we'll see what happens with that now, to move on to the Express and Star, and what they've been saying today is that Wolves apparently are interested in Ipswich left-back Jonas Knudsen. Now, I see that as a bit of a strange move, and I doubt that this will happen, but the Danish international has played 82 times for Ipswich since moving from Denmark in 2015, but having just signed Barry Douglas and possibly holding on to Matt Doherty, or if not Matt Doherty, Des Landers, we've got as well in that position, I would be surprised if we did sign another left back. Talking of Barry Douglas, what if you have looked at the Wolves YouTube channel, it's been completely inactive for the last four days since that mistake. So I'm hoping that the person who uploaded it hasn't had the sack. Or have they just forgotten to re-upload it? We'll, we'll see if they watch this video perhaps and then react to it by uploading it. And to finally finish off talking about the transfers, the rumour is that Wolves are interested in another Portuguese based, he's not Portuguese, he's Cameroon international uh, striker and that's Vincent Abubakar. Now if you've played football manager over the last few years you will know that he turns into one of the best strikers in the world. So he's got great potential on that game and that game has predicted in the past great players so perhaps he could be somebody as well that we could be getting into the club. He was on loan last season at Besiktas, scoring 19 goals in 38 appearances. He's been described as having blistering pace, six feet tall, perfectly made for the championship. And somebody described him as eating defenders for breakfast. So that is what we need in the championship. But at the moment, it looks as if Newcastle are the favourites to sign him. 
Wolves could be coming in and possibly with the links with Porto that we've got could make us slight favourites. But that'll be interesting to see what happens there. Uh, now, an insider of the club, I'm not sure who it is, it's a friend of a friend of a friend, um, has suggested that there's going to be an announcement in the next day or so regarding a couple of transfers into the club and to remain excited. There could be really big things coming through. Now, hopefully one of those is Neves. If the other one could be Abubakar, that would be fantastic. I'm hoping that it's not Knutsen or a phobe even. That would be great excitement. There's a couple of really exciting moves into the club. No signs of any players leaving yet at the moment. Interested to see who does leave. The Express and Star have had an article again today with George Savile talking about how hard done by he was playing at left back and stuff last, last season. Seems to be still an element of the cosy club there. I mean, we're not really interested in George Savile and what he's got to think about the club. We want to... We're all looking forward now and all looking forward to what's happening in terms of transfers coming in. Uh, in other news then, in the club, Darren Ryan has been appointed the under-18s coach. He had a brief spell at the end of last season doing the job and was quite successful. And finally, everybody's favourite pie merchant, Jez Moxie, has finally got himself another job. And that's as the chief executive of Burton Albion. So we'll get to see him again next season. And hopefully he'll last a little bit longer in this job. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing recently. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, why not click that subscribe button. Like this video, share it to your friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. One corner, one goal. Here comes corner number two. It's back with David Jones for Wolves. Good whipped in ball and it's turned home by Jody Craddock. Southampton just cannot defend. And Wolves are cruising after five minutes.